If you're a construction company, I can pretty much guarantee that you think about these two things. The first, you want to be profitable. And the second, you want to make sure that you do things well. You want to provide a great building for your clients. Stick around for this video to find out how technology like this robotic total station behind me and partnering with Building Point Midwest and Gulf Coast can help save time, money, and headache on all of the projects coming up in your future. No matter your project size, with Trimble and Building Point, you're able to load any type of drawing into this tablet right here. PDF, 3D model, 2D CAD file. You can even overlay multiple drawing types. Let's say you had a civil plan and you wanted to overlay a PDF on top of that a CAD file to make sure that your PDF is on state plane coordinates. You're able to do all of this within Trimble Field Link, one software. All we need to do is tell this total station where it's at in reference to the rest of the project and there on, it can tell us where we need to go to lay out any unknown points that we may have. Stub ups, toilets, blue bangers, anything that we need would typically lay out with the tape measure and string lines. We're able to do this system with only one man 10 times more efficiently than we would with a string line and tape measure to a 16th of an inch of accuracy. So with that being said, let's dive right into the demonstration and I'm gonna show you guys how we would use this solution here to make your projects more efficient. First things first, of course, you can see our total station is not looking at us at the moment. With the Trimble RI, you're actually able to access the camera that's inside the unit and see exactly what the unit is looking at. So if I open my Trimble vision here, I'm able to steer the unit to tell it, hey, this is where I want you to look instead of where it's actually looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and steer it up and then steer it to the right. And all I have to do from here is tap the prism. It'll lock onto me. Once I exit out, you'll see it goes from a red light over to a green light. This means now that it's tracking me, which makes this the complete one-man workflow. So now I can see if I pick up my bipod legs here and I start walking around, my unit follows me wherever I go, okay? So what I did for this little demonstration here is I told the unit where it was at on this project and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shoot a second point. So let's go ahead and let's say that over here, I'm gonna plumb up. You may not be able to see me in the camera, but that's okay. And I'm gonna press shoot. And now it's gonna take about three or four shots and it's gonna take the average of those three or four shots to get me a precise measurement. So it says, I measured short, right? It says the measured distance was 20 feet. The computed distance, what it's supposed to be, is 49 feet. But for today's demonstration, for me to show you exactly what it does and how it works, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, I'm gonna hit set. So now I have a blue target showing me exactly where I'm at as I walk through this job. Now remember, my total station's tracking me wherever I walk, so this makes it a complete one-man workflow. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a point at this toilet flange here, or at the end point of this plumbing stub up. Hit create. You can see it's gotten the name toilet 107. Now every point that I create afterwards is gonna say, now it's toilet 108. Just gonna keep going in numerical order. So if I go to measure and I hit layout, this is going to allow me to use the total station to tell me where I need to go now to lay out a certain point. So if I say, hey, I want to lay out toilet 107, you can see it tells me if I'm looking at my unit, it gives me the residuals of where I need to go to get to that point. So it says I need to go forward 11 inches and left two inches. So if I go ahead and move that, Now I need to go forward an inch, left an inch. I'm gonna plumb up. And just like that, I'm within an inch. So, I mean, if you were pulling a string line and a tape measure, it could have taken you a lot longer to get to this number or to this accuracy and with about four guys on the site. So this allows one guy to go out there and pinpoint any location on the drawing, we're able to do elevations, we can do a rise and run, we can do a slope percentage if your plumbers wanna lay out the actual elevations of their trenches. Anything that you do as a traditional laser for, transit, site level, string lines, tape measures, all in one system with one guy. 
speeds up the process exponentially, especially for plumbers, electricians, and mechanical companies. And then GCs are able to use it to lay out, if they self-perform anything, their formwork, their building corners. This basically makes you completely independent of a surveyor. So with that being said, another feature that a lot of contractors find beneficial is being able to lay out grid lines. So let's say you wanted to put nails in your batter boards as a general contractor to show where your subs need to be pulling from, right? You can't expect them to be laying out efficiently and accurately if you don't give them good starting points because they may not be using a system like this. So if I go to my line layout and I have a zero foot offset as set on the bottom right hand corner, I can select a line. You can see on the top of the screen, it tells me, hey, you're, you need to go to the left to get on that grid line. So if I move two feet to the left, you can see it changes. Now as I move, it's going to give me live updates of where I need to go to be at that exact grid line. So I need, I'm an eighth inch off of that grid line. So now I could use this and walk until I intersect with my batter board. Now I can know, boom, that's where I need to put my nail. This is giving me the ability to give my subs the exact locations to start from. Traditionally, you could do this, but you'd need a surveyor to come in and give you these points, where this makes you completely independent of a surveyor and allows you to do things in-house to make things more efficient. You're not waiting for a surveyor for three to five days for their call-outs, and you're not paying their call-out fees. You know, a lot of companies and a lot of larger projects are gonna have a pretty large surveyor budget, and this would allow you to completely mitigate that cost.